Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. As usual, this is a compliment to uh, Instructables I already made, so if you want the free design, free instructions, and a bunch of more information, just check the link out below. All seven projects have the same prep process, so I'm going to cover that process only once in the following minute to avoid redundancy. To begin, we're going to cut out our designs on a thick A4 sheet of paper. Once everything's been cut, you can go ahead and use your needle to score the designs onto the leather that you're using. And now we can go ahead and cut it out with our craft knife, box cutters, or whatever you have. Just make sure that you're using a very sharp blade. If you forgot to mark the stitching holes during the scoring process, you can go ahead and do that now. Once you're finished, We'll be done with the prep process and we can move on to our first and biggest project. To start off we're going to punch the hole indicated on the design and then we're going to set our post and stud using a snap setter ideally or in my case a Phillips head screwdriver and a hammer which gets the job done just fine. Next we're going to saddle stitch up the sides place our glasses inside the case and wrap the flap around to indicate where the other half of our snap should go. Once we know where, we can go ahead and punch that hole out, place our cap and socket there, and then using our snap setter, or again a Phillips head and a uh, hammer, you're going to attach those pieces. And after that you'll be done, just make sure you have backstitched the thread and then you can cut them off and place some rubber cement there to secure it. To begin, we're going to saddle stitch the three components of the main body and make sure that we place the flap in between the top and bottom layer. Once the main body is complete, we'll attach the first magnet to the circle and we're going to fold in the uh, tabs so they don't stick out. Using a bit of rubber cement, we'll attach this to the flap and then we'll go on to stitching. So here we have the stitching complete, it looks pretty good, and I didn't film this step, but what we're going to do now is we're going to press down the flap to mark where this other magnet should go. And once you have that marked, you can score the uh, lines for the tabs, push it through, like so, and then uh, this time instead of folding the tabs in, we're going to fold them out so that they look like this instead. And with that step completed, you now have a finished money clip. These coasters are super easy to make and they're a great beginner's project because after you have the piece prepped, all you have to do is stitch. Because of its simplicity, you can give the coasters more character and uniqueness by giving them different stitches like I did. The first thing we're going to do for this project is place the two pieces on top of each other and fold over the flap to see where we want to place our first snap. Once you know, you can cut that out, place the cap and the socket, and then again just set it in place with whatever tools you have. Next we're going to repeat the process by folding over the flap, pushing down on the cap and socket, and marking where our post and stud should go. Just as before, we're going to punch the hole, place the other half of our snap, and then set it. To finish off, we're going to use our saddle stitch, and then make sure we backstitch two or three times. I was able to squeeze all six picks that I have into this holder, but I recommend you only use up to four. So here's another quick and easy all stitching project you can do and to begin you're going to stitch up the center design and then saddle stitch up each side 
and that's honestly pretty much it. They make for great gifts, they look really cool, and they're pretty useful. Again, we have a super useful and super, super easy project for you guys. All you have to do for this is punch out the holes for your snaps, and by now you know the drill, you're just going to place your snaps and set them. And that's it. Super easy, and again, very, very useful. Keeps your uh, earbuds from getting tangled in your pocket, and you can use it to organize any other wires that you might have. Uh, the rings make for great gifts, unfortunately they're really easy to make. And so here I'm demonstrating how to put together the first one that doesn't have any stitching or punching. So you're going to place your leather through the first loop, and then what I'm doing now is wrapping it around through the second loop, as you can see here. So through the first, around the second, and we're going to come back and go through the first again. And that's it, that's all you have to do. You can adjust it to fit your ring size, um, super easy, and uh, it has a really cool kind of like bow-like uh, look to it. So for the second design that I included, there is some stitching involved, and really all you need to do is attach the two ends together and you could be done right there. Or if you want, you can uh, add some more design to it, you could go saddle stitch your way across, do this alternating stitch that I did, just get creative with it, add beads, ornaments, just whatever you want to make it look good. And the two that I made are very comfortable and look pretty nice, so I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I just wanted to share with you guys some of the projects that you can make with uh, scrap leather. I'm just show you that you don't have to throw it away into the trash. I know some of them were on the bigger side. This uh, sunglasses case is a little big. For this, I use scraps from my beetle bag project. So if you want, you can go check that out. And maybe if you make it, uh, you'll have enough to make this right here. For the uh, money clip though, I actually used uh, scraps that I got from a leather shop that I went to. And I just went there and asked the owner if he had any scraps he was willing to give me, so I thought it was an option if you don't have the materials yourself. And for everything else, I just use scraps lying around the house. So. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, if you found it interesting, informative, cool, just uh, give it a like, subscribe. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. Um, and if you want to support me on Patreon, that's always welcome too. Anything's appreciated, you guys. Thank you.